Well, I am here with my wonderful friend Lou McClung at Lou So Cosmetics. He is just an incredible makeup artist. And today, Lou, the really interesting thing is your your whole line is geared towards a mature professional woman. It is. And that's what we're talking about today. We are. And so um, we're going to show you some specific techniques and then also talk about the colors that are appropriate too. So right now we're focusing on some foundation. And the foundation is one of the most important parts of evening out the skin. So I have a lot of older clients who say to me, well, I don't need foundation, and they actually do. So what a lot of women experience is redness around here and sometimes discoloration on the eyes or they're completely white under there. Mm -hmm. So what we do now is even everything out and it makes you look much younger. So Deanna looks great, she's got the fresh face, very even toned skin, mm -hmm. what's our next step? The next step is concealer. So foundation first, get nice and even. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna take some concealer and we're gonna blend it on our hand first, okay? The purpose of that is to warm it up so when we apply it, it doesn't look all thick and gunky. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is brush this in place. Now the brush is just the vehicle to get the concealer on, okay? I'm actually gonna go in and blend with a sponge. Also, let's not forget the corners of the eye. Those are very important as well. So now that I've applied with the brush, I'm going with the foundation sponge, and I'm just gonna blend that in now using a stippling motion which is exactly how I applied the foundation. Okay, close your eyes. We're gonna go in and get the corner here. Okay, and open again. And now it's nice and blended. The texture's really nice. You can barely see any of the concealer or foundation. And it really makes your eyes pop. It really does. So for me, I cannot leave home without my brows being done. And I know that is huge. It truly makes a face. It really does. Especially when you get older, though, they thin out. And that's the biggest complaint I hear from everybody. So. Deanna has a really beautiful arch, which is great. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna thicken the eyebrows okay. a little bit. The part that people never do is they never do the top. So we're actually gonna start on the top of the brow here. And this is, when you do the top portion, it still keeps you much more lifted looking. We are gonna do some lower part of the brow too. So we're just strengthening that. And then we're coming in the front here and we're gonna fill this in a little bit. And then now I'm gonna go just a little bit underneath here. So your brow should thin out here and then begin to thicken as it gets towards the nose. And you can see already, yeah, a, and I, I was not using a lot of pressure either, but you can see how much fuller they are now. Now she looks absolutely amazing. I know we have one more step we wanna show and yep. that is eyeshadow. Yeah, so let's dive right in. Okay, I'm gonna what's take the importance? This, well, I'm gonna take this rounded brush. The importance of this whole project is to give the eyes depth, okay? So I load up my brush and then I actually tap the excess off first so that you don't put too much on the first time. Or get it all over the bottom of your eye Correct. like I do every very time. Good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the brush in the crease, okay? Very important, important to always point up. Then we're just gonna work the brush back and forth like a windshield wiper. And really that's it to shading your crease. It really is quite simple. People think it's much more complicated. And what this also does is it helps push everything up visually, which again, helps you look younger. Okay, so to wrap up the work that we did today, the most important things are evening out the skin, and then the concealer, setting everything with powder, and then bringing out the eyebrows to look fuller and not so thin, and then bringing in some nice lip color at the end. She looks absolutely fabulous, and like I said, fresh faced. Yep. She can walk and she doesn't look, just because you're worried about putting too much makeup on, you can still add makeup and not feel like you've caked things on. Exactly. You look amazing, Dan. 